dawn and the promise of riches on the horizon for those who wait. For the fishermen of Cornwall, the waiting is nearly over, and with it will come liberation, or so they believe. We are an island race. This is what we do. We go to sea and trading and fishing. David Stevens skippers a trawler out of Newland Harbour. He says his government betrayed its own fleet by allowing European boats access to Britain's waters when it joined the EU back in 1973. It was sold out to go into the EU. It's now being sold out to get out of the EU, which is just unbelievable. EU quotas mean that nearly 60% of the fish caught in waters around the UK are landed by other EU fleets. There are complicated reasons, historical catches, sustainability, and the transient nature of fish, but it grates. 25 different species and each one has a different quota level uh, and the UK has very little quota for quite a few of those species so trying to manage that catch is just unbelievably difficult. And there are worries history could repeat even as Britain leaves the EU. Most of the fish landed at Newland Harbour is actually exported and in fact 75 percent of the entire British catch goes to the European Union and that gives the EU a bargaining chip down the road. 6620, 6460, 680, 680. Exporters battle it out for the best of the catch at Newlands Fish Market every morning. Not always getting what they want. Edwin Hosking wants out of the EU, but he hopes it won't affect his access to their markets. We do export 30% of our fish. Uh, and we have assurances from the French supermarkets that nothing's going to change on their part. We should still get the orders. But if Britain wants to keep its access to EU markets, then Europe will surely demand to keep its access to British waters. And the government might give in. The fishing industry may tug at the heartstrings, but it accounts for less than 1% of Britain's economy. And not everyone in Cornwall thinks they'll be better off outside the EU. Skipper Tom McClure voted to stay in. I voted to remain for a lot of different reasons, really. It wasn't just about fishing, I just saw the, the broader picture, really. The EU is very good at giving out grants and stuff like that, and that was part of the basis. I've had three grants to do work on this boat. You might not look it, but Cornwall is one of the poorest regions in Britain. And as such, entitled to substantial EU funding. The Newland Fish Market, for example, is getting a facelift courtesy of EU money. Farmers and the flower industry also rely on EU workers, taking the jobs some in Cornwall won't. Even David Stevens employs Latvian crewmen aboard his trawler. But for him, he says, it's a question of identity. If it wasn't for the sea, there wouldn't be an island race. We wouldn't be the people we are. We are British because we have the sea. And so they wait for what they hope will be a new dawn, not just for the fisheries, but a way of life. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Cornwall.